G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Transport Fever 2. Yes, we're back here with a Let's Make America Great Again. And, uh, well, USA, I can't remember what I called it. USA or America, either way, same thing. And we, anyway, we are back and continue on. All right, a couple of things have happened since the last episode. Uh, we've actually put in a large express line for passengers. So this, this train here is actually going on part of that. Um, and this line extends all the way up through here. So it goes from Fresno, as you can see here. So we've reworked the station out of these extra lines in here, these uh, high-speed lines. And we've got another train through there, which is running another electrical train with the Union Pacific uh, carriages on it. It takes quite a lot of passengers. Um, anyway, that goes all the way down through here. We're going to follow this all the way down. So it goes all the way down. Miles and miles and miles and miles. Goes to Madison. We've got the big station in there. It then goes through to Fort Collins. Big station in there. It stops off at Abilene. Then we go off through to Memphis. And then it comes up around here. Through to, what have we got here? We've got to stop here for Gilbert. And then we go up here to Midland. And then we go up in through to Tacoma, which is actually starting to burgeon into a big sprawling city, as you can see there, which is excellent. We'll cover, come back to that a little bit later. Up to Louisville, we've got a very complex station there for, for many reasons. But anyway, we'll get to that again a little bit later. Up to Jacksonville, all the way up here to West Covina, and that's where it ends. So we need to extend it out. We need to keep on going. We're going to go to Miramar and to Norwalk and Fort Lauderdale and over through here. I want to get over to this area here, to Erie, Lancaster and Fresno. All right, in the interim, so we've got that running. So now what we need to do is just get some different rail lines tied in with that, um, or sorry, trains running and, and getting the passengers moving about. Now, it also means we need to get some passenger movement set up in some of the towns and cities. As you can see here at West Covina, we haven't got any buses. So I'm going to do that right now. In fact, what we'll do first, we'll get uh, a route set in from West Covina there. Uh, via the express line, we'll go down to Jacksonville, and then we'll also go down into Louisville. Then we come back via Jacksonville, and then we're done. Okay, now, train-wise, I don't think we've got any depots nearby on that line, so we might just add one. Needs to be a little bit out of the way, but not too far out of the way. In fact, what we might do is I might just do it. It'll be expensive, but we'll just do it here. In fact, the other thing we do have to do as well is I think I have to put in points. So all this area through here, we've got points up there, but this section of track up through here I haven't got points on. In fact, that, and there's a problem with that bridge. Look at that. We do need to fix that as well. All right, so let's um let's fix that didn't notice that when we built it so uh tracks express over there that's right it's got the right bridge on there so we're gonna go there and then we're gonna go across to there so obviously when i was laying that track i was using the parallel track and um i went the laid it the opposite way and it didn't put the parallel track on the right side so anyway, that's okay. All right, let's have a look at that. So that line. Yeah, no, there's a problem there in the fact that the lines aren't doing the right things. We'll quickly check on that as well. Not that I want to do this. I thought that we had that sorted. Uh, up and down. So you should be able to go to there and there, all right. So why can't you go back? Or a double slip. Right, let's just put some signals in here and that'll that'll tell us what's going on. So we're going to put a one-way signal there like that. And put another one up here. All right, now let's see what it's doing. That's better. And let's fix that straight away. All right, so I'm not going to worry about another one up here as yet. We're just going to get this going. I want to get that depot in, like I said. That was the first thing we we're going to do. Down in here. I'm going to grab the tracks. Doesn't really matter whether I use Express or not at this point. We will do that though. Bring that up into there. 
And then we'll bring you there like that. Right, that needs to be a double slip. That needs to be a double slip. There we go. And then we can grab our depot. Oh, sorry, yeah, our depot. Our buildings, depot. And we rotate that around. Sorry, wrong rotation. There we go. Bang, there we go. Right, so now from here I can build a train. So we're going to buy vehicles. Now, uh, diesel. I've only got the, the Alco diesels, and I'll talk about what we've done with those as well in a minute. Uh, so I've got this guy here. Add that. My passenger wagons. So I've got a pile of passenger wagons now. Uh, I'm going to start using the Union Pacific just because I do like the yellow. Um, oh, that's not what I want to do. All right, let's go back in there. Right, now I want to add some... 330 will be enough. Uh, modify that. Select that. I'm going to select the line. There we go. Now, that's got all catenary on there, so that should be fine, and off he goes. Excellent. All right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set up my buses very quickly. Uh, let's have a look at the city. I may want to add some more roads in. Uh, so I'll add in a road down to there. Across into there. And then I'm going to add another road there and there. I think, I think we're going to preempt and bring that one down to here and across to there. All right, now we're going to put some bus stops in. So first of all, actually, I'm going to put a bus tram station in just opposite the station. We got that and give it a bit of room. There we go. All right, now we're going to put some bus and tram stations in. There, this will be the out external route. So as we said before, we like to put a route on the outskirts that goes around the perimeter. Uh, I'm actually quickly going to put a street in through here as well. Like that. Uh, bus there. Bus there. On there. And there. Go one there. Then one there. And that'll do. Right. So we'll set up a route there to start with. So let's go. New line. Makes it nice and simple. You just follow the bus stops. Like that. There we go. Done. Right. Now we fill in the other bus stops in here when I select that. So I think we'll have a bus stop in there. I have one there as well. I have one there. We've got none up in here at all, so I'm going to have one there. There. Um, now this gets a little bit tricky, this little intersection in here, doesn't it? Um, there, there. Uh, there's covered. There we go. Right, we're saving. Right. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it, and we'll put one in here as well. Okay, let's do that one now. So we're going to go from the uh, bus station to here, go up to there, to there, and then to there. We'll link in with that one there, there, go there, into there. Um, that'll be okay. That'll do. Right. Excellent. So now what we need to do is we need to put in. Oh, we've got some new vehicles. New diesels. Oh, it's just the diesels, but we're reversed. Yeah, okay. All right. That's okay. Double headers, all that sort of stuff. That's good. So that's okay. Right. Um, I want to use those actually. That'll be nice. Um, right. Let's get back into here. I want to get the depot in. So depot in over here. That'll do there. All right. Buses. Buy vehicles. Passenger. Uh, we've got the Schneider PB2. So I'm going to buy, um, let's say, 16. Eight on each route. There we go. We're going to select eight. 
There we go. I'm going to select the root being 61. There we go. And you guys here are going to go on root 62. Again, I haven't done the naming yet, I know. Now, the other thing is I want to look at um, the maintenance. So I want to go there, manage vehicles. Now, um, we haven't looked at maintenance at all yet. So maintenance in here. So maintenance increases the running costs, but it also decreases emissions. It decreases, um, um, what does it decrease? Um, it increases the life, the lo um, longevity of the vehicles, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm just going to apply it to those ones and kind of see how that goes. All right. But as you can see, we've now got our buses heading out. And uh, they're going to start getting West Covina running. And as you can see, we've already got passengers lining up here as well, which is great. All right. Now, what else? There's a train. So the train's already been here. That's just excellent. Now, that one's done. So we've got some buses running there, buses there. We'll follow the train route down. Gilbert, we don't have anything here. Now, we need to get some that definitely running here so we can get some passengers over here to the train station. So we're going to put in a... Bus stop in here, like so. Rough and ready is fine. And we're going to come in here and we're going to put in uh, this. Now, we've also got some um, freight we need to get in here as well, but we'll do that a little bit later. Um, go there. This one's going to be fairly simple because there's not that much in the way of roads at the moment. Um, that'll do. I think it'll do fine. Right, so let's just set up that one. So again, new line from here. Link them all in. There we go, that's done. And then we just need to add in a depot. Again, near our industry area. I'll put up here out of the way. There we go. And I'm just gonna get five vehicles. And we're gonna get, uh, let's get eight, that'll do. There we go. Set the line. 63. Away they go. Right. Whoops. Wrong key again. That's done. Memphis. Memphis needs some buses as well. Right. So, uh, yet again, we're going to have a look and see what we can do here. So, streetwise, I'm going to run that up to there. I'm going to run that across to there. That across into there. Bring that down to there. Now, I mean, the AI does its own thing, obviously. I uh, see it like that. But um, I like just sort of give it a bit of a helping hand so I can set up my roots. And then if it fills it in, then all well and good. Right, quickly put that in there. Like so. There we go. All right. And now put the bus stops in. All the... Perimeter ones first. Uh, uh, that'll do, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do for perimeter. Happy with that. Uh, so we'll set that cor that route and course. I was going to set course. Right there. We're going to go counterclockwise this one this time. There we go. There. There we go. Done. Okay. Now I set up the other bus stops. Um, I think that's probably going to be okay. All right. Let's set up a route. New line. Right there, you can go to there and there. Cover back on those ones. Right. Fine. Done. Now, again, we're going to put in the depot. And again, buy vehicles there. 16. Not 161, just 16. There we go. Eight of them. There you go. And then these ones here. 
That's a good there. Right, there we go. So Memphis is sorted now. Excellent. Now, we, the only thing we don't have at the moment is we don't have any trains running for Memphis. Now, what I might do is... I don't think there's any trains running between Madison and Gilbert. So let's just set up a train line between there. So we're going to go new line. There, 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 there. And straight away there's an issue. Okay, what's the issue? Line 66. So what is your issue? Okay. So the issue is... That's not been made double slip, and that one's not been made double slip. That should clear that issue. Um, that's one of the things we've tried to make sure we've done, but there may be some times where we've missed that, and that's okay. Um, but that line now is okay, so now we just have to go and find a train depot, which is nearby, which is going to be this new one we put in here. Buy a vehicle. I'm going to get... Uh, I'm do the electric again. And passenger. And again, I'm going to go this. And again, we're just going to do a smaller train. Buy that one. And it's going to go to Route 66. All right. So he's taken off from there. That's good. Now we need to make sure we've got buses on all these ones here. So we've got Abilene. So we've got to set buses up here. Oops, sorry about my zooming in and out. Uh, right, so let's fix the streets. Well, let's duck the streets, not fix them. Fix them in respect of what I want to see done, not what they want to see done. No, there, like that. And you can go over there like that. And I'm also going to put you in there like that. Um, I'm going to upgrade you to that. Okay, all right, that should be fine. Now let's put the bus stops in. Uh, right, we're going to have bus stops there and there. There and there. Down there. Just try and do this nice and quick because we don't really want to spend a lot of time doing this. Uh, streets, I'm going to have to upgrade that one there. Thank you. Okay. Put this in. That, excellent. Let's set that route up. Okay, that's done. Right. Now, for that one, where it's got more routes, I probably should have more vehicles on it too. Um, or more stops, I should say, not more routes. Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to buy vehicles. I'm going to buy 12. Okay, and they're going to go on that route. Let's just set that one up and get that going straight away. Done. Right, let's set the other route, the other bus stops in here. Internals. Others, yeah, yeah, like that. That should be close enough. Right, let's set up a route for that. Um, come up. There we go, that'll do. And then again, same thing. We're going to get some buses. So we're going to go in here. Again, we might do 12 for this one as well. And they're all going to go to line 68. All right, that's done. Excellent. Whoops, wrong key again. Okay, Fort Collins is next. Uh, what do we go? Fort Collins and Madison. What do we got time-wise? Oh, we're only 20 minutes in. We're okay. This is Fort Collins is quite big already. Um which is fine. 
Uh, but we are going to finish with uh, getting this all set up like that. Um, I think I'll bring you across there like that. Bring you into there like that. I'll bring you down there like that. I'll take out that building. That's fine. You can come across there like that. In fact, I'll bring that up to there and that across to there. Okay. Um, in fact, what I, what I could do, and I will do, I'm going to do this for this one. I'm just going to see if this impacts it at all. I'm going to make the outskirt, the, the perimeter road, fire capacity, dual lane, and just see how that goes. There we go. So that's all been upgraded. Okay, so that's a double double lane. So that's okay. So we'll just see what that does. I mean, there's a couple of other the towns we need to do um, to, to start looking at the roads. We don't want to have any um, traffic issues as well. So anyway, all right, let's um, get back into putting some um, bus stops in. There. What have we got now? More diesels? Pioneer Zephyr. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to use that or not. We might use it. We we'll probably use it in between. Yeah, probably will, actually. A very ugly looking thing, though, isn't it? Sorry. Um, I, I, know, I know some of the American, my American friends may not like this comment, but um, Americans don't know how to make good looking trains. Um, the, the POMs, the Europeans, um, they make some good-looking trains. Sorry. So, sorry, guys in the US. You, your trains look shit. They're ugly as hell. They're practical, but they're just ugly as shit. Right. Uh, there goes my subscriber count. Right. Uh, whoops. No, can't do that yet. I want to do um, the bus station in here. We can just feel those daggers now. I have to write a letter to Biden, quick, implement gun laws so they can't come and terrorise me. Right, that should be okay. Uh, in fact, what I might do, that road there, I'm going to upgrade that road. It just makes sense to upgrade that one. So I'm going to upgrade. Problem is it does remove buildings. I'm not so happy with that part, but... Yeah, anyway, that's fine. Right. It'll recover. Um, bus stops again. Right, so we've got the outers. I want to do the inner. Um, so there, there. I think there will be fine. around there, I don't need one there, I don't think, oh, I'll put one there anyway, uh, that there, that there, I'll put one in there, don't really need one there either, but anyway, we'll put one there, I think that's fine, let's, um, let's give this a, uh, do the outside one first, Right, so it needs nine. Right, next one. And do the internals. We're going to go there. There. No, I'm going to bring you out. To, oh, I didn't really want you to do that. But anyway, that's fine if you want to do it that way. There we go. That'll do. That'll do near enough. Near enough for government work. Right. So let's um, put a depot in. Uh, industry. We've we got some industry down here. Listen down here. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's going to buy twenty-four. I'm just put twelve on each.
Okay. 70. 71. There we go. Okay. So that's uh, Fort Collins done. Now, let's see. Madison won't take me long at all. So we'll get Madison done quickly. Uh, streets. There we go there. I want to put that across to there. No, 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 no. Right there. Bring you up to there. Oh, look, that sits there nicely like that. You to there. Uh, I'm going to bring you up to there. Right, that'll do. Let's just get this in. There, there. Right, I'll do the internal ones now as well. New industry at Charleston. I'll put one in there. I may need that one just to sort of even out the loop a bit. Now, this is a problem. Trains pulled in. You know what? I'm just going to wipe out the industry. There we go. Right. Let's go and quickly get these lines in. Do the... Oops. New line. Go right, and a new line out to there, out to there. You can go up to there. Is that it? That'll work. Okay, and then we'll put in a depot again. Rinse, repeat. Uh, I'll put that out here. Okay, that'll do. Um, and I think it's going to be, what, eight vehicles, so 16. Get them on. There we go. All right. So, we've got a train running now. This is the train that's running between all of them. It's got one passenger out of 330. But, in setting up all the... Um, things here now we've got a bit more activity happening you see we've also got another line that comes into Abilene uh, no Fort Collins already that's why Fort Collins has actually been growing that's fine so Abilene okay we've got um, we've got passengers coming up there that's fine um, and in here yeah so we're, we're starting to get that going then we just need to worry about getting some um, freight in here as well so we need to get some bread some fuel, some tools, um, and what's the other one? Manufacturing goods or whatever it is. Uh, same over here and same over here. So, right, what we need to do now is look at getting freight distributed as well or making freight nearby. Now, let's go. Fuel is on two of them. Now, for fuel, uh, there's a fuel producing area there. I've got oil here, here, and here. Have I got a processing plant nearby? I can always buy one and install it. I mean, that's one of the, that's one of the things we can do. Um, that's not cheating. We're just installing a processing plant. Um, you know, I think we might do that. Let's go and get fuel going to there and there. That's fine. So we'll get we'll get fuel running. Um, so we got there, fuel. Well, there's a fuel refinery up there. I don't want to go all the way up there. And then my other oil refinery is on the other side of the map over here, isn't it? Uh, where are we? No. Where's my refineries? I've lost them. Louisville, Tacoma. Here. Yeah, that's there. Right. So let's have a look at that. So... Tools coming from there, fuel from there. Oh, it's actually not that bad, actually. Right, we just need to get it lined up so we can bring them out. Um, 
Okay, well, so certainly. Hmm. All right, what we could look at doing, let's have a look at this and we're going to configure this station again. So I'm going to put more track in here and I'm going to put catenary track in. I put platforms. More track. Right, now that will give me um, another way to get goods out. So if we come in here, yeah, tracks, uh, catenary, yes, parallel, no, oh, no, I want no, don't want them yet. Bring that out. That. That. And. Now, they just need to come down and be available over here somewhere. Now, whether or not... Um, the next decision is whether I actually make a freight station here or I do a separate freight station. I think the easiest way is to do a freight station in here. So, let's... We got fuel there. Right, well, let's, let's just start with Gilbert first. We'll set up one at a time. I think if we configure this and we put another set of express rails here, that gives us three platforms to load and offload passengers. I think that's going to be fine. I think then what we do is we have a lower speed line. And this is obviously going to be dedicated to freight. So then we put a freight platform in. So, okay, and we put another set of tracks in. Okay, now I would also like to put in uh, there. Can we, we might be extended out a little further later if we wanted to as well. Um, I'm just going to put these in. Cost doesn't matter because we've got plenty of money. Well, last time I checked. <laughs> All right. So that's that got, got that sorted. So we've now got two um, freight lines there as well. Or freight... Um, what's the names? So let's go parallel tracks, yes. Number of tracks, two. I'm going to bring them... Right, put them out there like that. Now, uh, parallel tracks, no. I'm gonna bring that. I think I wanna join this up. Um, actually, what I wanna do Uh, track construction, I'm going to go to that. Number of tracks to, I want to go right. Compactness. Uh, now that. Oh, what have we got there? We've got um, Hiawatha, some trucks, coach, and I've got a Douglas plane, I've got a boat. Right. Okay, I want to do... Turn out. No. I think that'll work. Right. Back to tracks. I want to go there. Yeah, not really ideal, but that'll that'll be okay. And then into like that. Although that's not going to get me what I want because I still need to have my crossover although what I could do is make them both no that'll be okay I just need to do double slip oh that's not going to get through there though is it no it's not going to work close but not quite 
and delete that. Right, I'm going to go back to putting this in. Parallel, yes. Bring that out. Like that. There we go. Right. Parallel, no. I'm going to bring that down to there. That's just going to come into there like that. Actually, I want to do... Like that. Okay. And you can just come in there. Just do something similar. Make that double slip. Make that double slip and that'll be fine. All right, so that gets that done there. And then we just need to tie that in. Uh, where was I? Uh, Fort Collins. Just on the opposite side that I wanted to, have I? Right. Do the same thing on the other side. So let's quickly do that. Again, I know some people won't necessarily enjoy the track building part, but it's all part and parcel of the game, so sorry. Okay, parallel tracks, no. I'll bring that up. Oh, probably not that, probably not that far, actually. I want to bring that back a bit to there. That, bring you down. And bring you up to there. Near enough's good enough. It's only freight, so it doesn't have to go at higher speed into the there. Right, so what that does, it means I've got two platforms to drop freight off to, but I've got two lines where freight can continue on with as well. Right, so we'll now continue to bring that line around. going to over there oh, there you go I've done the parallel tracks the wrong way so I'll just take that okay try again bring that all the way up Now, you're going to be turning quite sharply around through there. Do I need that? I'm going to need those products there as well, but that's okay. They can turn off in there. How am I going to get the fuel? Where's my fuel? Fuel's over there. So as long as I can tie in from this line into here, that'll be okay. Um, I should be able to do that. I, I can do that a couple of different ways. I can bring it off the tunnel which is probably the e easiest way. I'll probably do that now. What we'll do is uh, parallel tracks, no. I'm going to bring you out. Make that level so it's not going to do anything stupid. And then bring that. So there we go. That's how that's going to come out there. That'll be fine. Now, I want you guys to turn. I want you to end up being parallel. Thank you. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to go parallel tracks, yes. I'm going to bring that up. And bring it up to there. There we go. Done. See how nice that parallel tracks thing works once you've got it working properly, like you actually understand which side you're going to. It's excellent. That's got that going. Now we've got to get that delivery into there as well. So again, we're going to turn off the... Oh, actually, I don't know if I can do... I wonder if I can do... I don't think it'll let me do the turnouts, the parallel track. Yeah, no, doesn't do it. All right, so we're going to turn that off. I'm just going to bring that out. There we go, like that. Okay, now we're going to go... Parallel track, yes. I'm going to bring that to meet to here. And again, because the tunnel, we won't do it. So that's okay. We just do that manually. Like that. And join that up there like that. Excellent. Right. So that gets that 
physically joined over here to Gilbert. So Gilbert can start getting tools and fuel. So to do that, I'm going to need um, a train route from Gilbert or from Midland South there to Gilbert. Okay, now let's have a look and see what it's doing here. Oh, so again, because we've stuffed up our parallel track on this side, which I didn't notice and no one told me, strangely enough, because this is just a recording, not a live stream or anything. There we go, that, and there we go, like that. Right. I put signals in. Uh, one way, yes. Uh, well, no signal there like that. And I'm going to put those in there like that. Right. Now let's see. Right, that's fixed that route up. That's good. Okay. Excellent. Happy with that. Now, that's okay from there. Now, I also need to get a route from new line from there. there now I want this to use the other platforms I'm going to change that to platform 2 that's good they're sharing they're going all the way back down excellent now all I need to do is get two trains on there at least two trains on there right so and what are we going to do for that well I'm going to I don't know how I'm going to do that actually um, you know I think I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go tracks. I get this one right. Should be able to. Here we go. Uh, no, I'm gonna bring a line out there like that. Line out there like that. I'm just going to put a new one in here. Like that. Right. Now, in here, I want to buy a vehicle. Now, I'm going to do two cargo um, variants, but I'm going to use a double header. So, I'm going to use the uh, Boston and Main. So, it's a double header. So, it's got two of those Alco HH diesel units and my cargo. Right. What's my cargo going to be? Uh, fuel. What am I going to do? Um, utility gas. Um, I might go to Hooker Chemical Company. No, needs to be a fuel car. Where's my shell? Oh, that's Texaco. Texaco will do. Right, so I'm going to add that. 160 meters is the max. Buy that. Now you're going to be on that last route, aren't you? So you're going to be on that route there. Now, um, that's you. Now, I'm going to buy another vehicle. Diesel. Well, diesel multiple units. Uh, I'll add the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western this time. The cargo is going to be the tools, which is that one there. I don't think the other ones are tools. No, no. Right. So we're going to add that. Not that by that and you're going to be on the line 74 all right there you go let's do that love it yeah excellent gotta love it gotta love it right Here we go. That's what I haven't done. Signals. Uh, signal, signal, signal. No. Give way that way. Give way that way. All right. Now we're going to need to put some signal, more signals in here. So, yes, yes. 
No alarm bells, so that must all be okay. that okay now we need to go in here and just sort this out like that and there like that and then like that right you're done and then for this line here so to finalize this one which is coming into there and to there um there and there oh what do we got now a PIR class. Oh, see, we've got more. We've got Portland Terminal. Got lots of different liveries coming in, which is great. But I do need some other engines as well. Hopefully we'll get those soon. Going so into that like that. Then we're going to have a look at the signals. So that's okay. That's all working. That line there is okay. That line there is okay. Yeah, I think things are working generally okay for the moment. All right. Um, production wise okay now what we need to do is I need to come back over here now we've got the trains running there goes the train returning I need to get some freight heading over here so um, we need to put in a freight terminal like so and then I need to get some freight drop off points so we've got there. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Hope that fixes that. It's not going to, though, is it? Man, use the line. Uh, Willow Street. Over that will fix itself and it deletes itself. There we go. All right. No. No. So I've got to add. Well, that's true. There we go. That's done. Right. Now let's do these truck ones again. So if you if you go too close, unfortunately they overwrite. See so that says replace existing, uh, and that's what I wasn't being careful of. Uh, up there. Okay. Right, let's set the route up for that. There we go. Okay, there we go. Um, and I'm just, what I'm going to... I shouldn't need to do two lines, should I? Just going to see if it'll do both cargo lots... Um, from the one so it'll be a bit of an experiment because I can't remember if I mean you can oh, actually not wait because they're different trucks aren't they um, no so it'll be a different route so let's do another route new line from you we'll still go the same places okay. 76 and 77 and what we're going to do is I'm going to buy vehicles, cargo. Oh, lots of trucks. Uh, all cargo, uh, fuel. So I'm going to buy 10. And they're going to go on the second to last route. That'll do. Buy vehicles. And I'm going to buy all cargo. No. No. Board. Doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, I've got 10 of them. There we go. And you. 
you're going to go on to line 77. Now, line 77, we need to edit. Um, right, so Gilbert Hall, we're going to change the loading. Um, this is just going to load that for the mo. Oh, was it that? Tools, wasn't it? Okay. Then line 76. Should be fine. Oh, yeah, that's okay. All right, so let's see if we've got any um, demand. So what we should be seeing now is, where's our freight? Gone past it. We should hopefully start seeing some demand coming here. <clears throat> so line 74, which is that one there, okay. And you can see there's a demand of two. All right, so there is demand coming. Excellent. Now we need to make sure that we've got enough product coming into here. Uh, production 800, 800. Right, that's okay. Really need to make this probably a bigger station. Um, but that becomes a problem. <laughs> what have we got in here? Getting the terminals. Generals aren't full. Yep. All the wood coming down, the timber coming down. Probably probably not really pulling enough timber out of here either. I'll probably put a couple more trains in here. Into each of these. Uh, and is there any more timber we can bring in? But there's more timber up here we could bring in. We we'll bring that in through up here. Okay. What we might do. Not making enough. So we need to get a lot more production in here, don't we? Right. So let's let's start revamping this. Let's have a look at here. So we're going to configure line 45. It's got currently got three trains running. Uh, I'm going to manage the vehicles. We're going to replace them all. So I'm going to replace all those trains. I'm going to use the diesels. Um, 900 kilowatt. Uh, we're going to use, we use the Portland ones. They're the newer ones. Um, so I'm going to add that. The cargo wagons. We're using timber. Uh, so it is only these ones here at the moment. We can't go past 160. So I'm going to replace. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate. So we're going to have five trains into that station. Okay. Right. This one here. And the same thing. Or similar thing. Line 44. Manage vehicles. We're going to replace the trains. Again, diesel, add cargo, uh, add up to 150 plus. There we go. Replace, duplicate. So we're going to have lots of trains running on this line. And that means what we probably have to do here on both of these is actually extend out the platforms. So we'll do that, but I'm going to do the trains first and we'll do the platforms as we go. Range vehicles, replace. Again, I'm going to use that one. Cargo. There we go. Replace. Deselect one. Duplicate. Done. Configure this. Right, now I just put a line on both sides. Would make it nice and easy, or I can go two lines on one. Doesn't really matter. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the one on either side for the moment. Like so. Um, come out of there. We'll put the track straight in. Now, this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. Um, actually, we are better doing it the other way. Right, configure. Form. 
just purely from the fact that what we need to do and what we will do is we'll just turn that off there right do that constructions bang bring that in um just get around just a little bit more there we go like that like that'll be enough that, that'll be fine there actually that will work tracks Put that cost to there like that that's done that's done now again we go track construction crossover uh we got that there no i want the x and I want that to be shorter. Shorter again. Like that. And then they just join up. Like that. Signals go in. One way. One way, no, they're not going to happen. And Bob Junkle. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to put signals in there. All right. So if I look at that, that's fine. Now, this line here, we also want to change. I want to manage that line. And in Cincinnati West, I want to give access to that one, that one, and oh, that one. There we go. Is that right? Cannot connect all alternative terminals. Well, we'll fix that. Why can't you? Um, coming up. You should be able to go to any terminal you want. There's my signals. Right, going up. You're going to go up to there, and you should be able to cross into there. What is the problem? Okay, so we're going to put yes. I don't know what the problem is. Why? Why can't you go up there? Doesn't make sense. Don't know why that's not going up there. Okay. Like that, and we'll put it back in again. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. No, I'll do it my way then. So to bring that to the there, that over to there, bring you to there, bring you to there. Oh. Right, so what's the problem? Uh, there should be no problem. I don't understand why it's doing that. Do you really go up into there without any any issues whatsoever? Don't know why it's doing that. Up to there and then down to there. All right, I really don't know what's going on with that. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. And I will just manage that line. And for Cincinnati West, um, one, two, three, four. 
I'm not using five. Oh, hang on. Maybe the problem isn't there. It's actually the other side. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's this side. Line 43, manage line. No, this should be okay as well. Uh, it has to be this side because it's the only place we've made a change. It's just playing around with me. Okay, let's just... Okay, let's just remove... Because it can't connect. Okay. We'll fix that off camera then. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't really don't understand why. Um because it should. It should be able to go in here. Once I've done this. Right, that allows a full crossover. And bring that up to there. That's there. Okay. Again, it just doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So if I put a parallel track now on a signal. Not recognizing that sign that turnout for whatever reason. If I make that double slip switch. Still doesn't fix it. I don't know why. I know why. The bloody passenger. F right. Okay. Now I've realized it. Right. I've wasted enough time. We're going to, we'll fix this off camera. Um, but basically what it is, is that's a passenger terminal. So that's why it doesn't like it. All right, so where it's actually telling me, I'm glad I finally worked that out, um, where it's telling me it can't go in, into here, that's that's actually okay. So Cincinnati West, um, I don't want to go to Terminal 1 because I can't go to Terminal 1. I'm going to turn off Terminal 2. That fixes that problem for now, and I'll fix that up off camera because that's been well actually now we've wasted far too much time doing that anyway there's one of our new trains um so they're now moving up see what we've got we've got plenty of trains we should have now starting to run this route and start getting some more timber down into here but we just want to make sure what we don't do in the meantime is actually cause any more um any more um delays by trains getting caught up all that sort of stuff. Um, so we may have to look at this. This may have to be reconfigured a little bit as well. But anyway, that is it. So that, we've got a fair bit done, I guess, today. Well, let's have a look and see if we've got any uh, any freight coming over in here. Waiting for trains to turn up. Well, look, I mean, we've got we've got a fair bit in the way of passengers um, being moved around and stuff now, so that's okay. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. So thanks very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, that's okay. Press that like button. If you didn't, that's okay too. Um, press the dislike button. But um, uh, we're uh, we're enjoying bringing this back to you, um, courtesy of Urban Games and Good Shepherd Entertainment. So thank you very much, guys, for um, giving us this copy way back when it was first released. Um, we're still playing the living daylights out of it. But anyway, don't forget if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. 
And of course, if you subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well. So you're made aware of when more videos like this are available on the channel. Don't forget to um, join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook as our freight comes in over here. Um, and most importantly of all, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Transport Fever 2, where we're making America great again. See you all later. Bye. Thank you.